Hey guys, welcome back. If you haven't been here before, welcome for the first time. This is a fun little project I thought I'd do a little video about because I found it kind of fascinating and interesting. And maybe you will too. I assume if you're looking at this, you probably want to know a little bit about sine waves and how to use this cheap little meter to look at it and test it. So I'm sure you've heard of pure sine wave and modified sine wave. So I'll, we're going to look at it on a meter and see. So the first thing you need to do is get yourself one of these meters. And you'll also need the uh, probably a separate uh, 10x probe that allows you to connect it to uh, higher voltages. Otherwise, the meter itself, I think, is 50 volts. Clearly, that's not high enough. So, uh, it connects just like the plain ones. It just comes with alligator clips, which technically will work as long as your voltage is under 50 volts. So, then I just made up this simple little uh, adapter setup here that makes it as safe as you realistically can be because you do have to probe the the actual wires so as you can see it's basically just a little uh, jumper so to speak so it gets wired in here and what I did was just drill holes that line up with the wires and that way you can uh, get the the probe contacts in there get it right on there and that way everything is still pretty safe right now this is plugged into the wall which is mains and if you haven't played with a meter before you want to set it on uh, AC or VAC volts AC and when you put the probe the leads in of the meter If you get it on the context, right? It should show you 120 volts. 120 volts, not 110, okay? People call it 110, but it's not. It's 120 and 240. So, one advantage to uh, doing it like this is it's safer to work with plug and unplug. You're supposed to check sine wave and stuff with things plugged into it. Well, how do you do that without, you know, having wiring open and exposed. So that's where this comes in. And I did disconnect the, uh, or made sure I didn't connect, I guess, the uh, ground because that would make this uh, basically hot when you, or uh, it'll, it'll pass the electricity through there if you happen to come in talk, contact with the uh, the hot the black which is on this side so as you can see if you go like this and touch there the meter shows nothing normally you would show power because you will get uh, continuity and you'll complete the circuit showing you 120 volts uh, this is just for this testing purpose, so don't use this because there's no ground connected. But I'm going to uh, get started setting this up a little bit, and uh, I'll show you the basics. Um, this has a, a little hook on there. You just stick it in there, and kind of like I showed you, basically you just hook it on the wire, and the the other clip you just stick on the other side so that's on the hot and the neutral so I'll get that set up and I'll be right back okay so I'm back I'm set up and once you have it uh, connected um, just to repeat a little bit you just connect the uh, the probe here on one side and it really doesn't matter with AC and this wire 
on the probe is too short so I just have a little jumper wire that connects over to the other side so you may need to get that you can make them or buy them and again this is right now connected to the mains uh, wall power power company power whatever you want to call it and so when I plug my meter in it'll turn on and oh no it doesn't show anything so uh, I've already got most of it set up so every time you turn this meter on and I'm not an expert on this so don't ask me a bunch of questions how it works but um, hopefully you can see it shows a frequency as 60 Hertz which which is what you want and the other numbers, you know, you can look at it, play with it, whatever. But um, to get the wave, the sine wave, uh, pretty much you hit the VDIV button once, twice, and it'll select that one down there. And you hit it again. So that's what, three times? And then it should turn the, this adjust knob up once, and the problem is it's off the screen. So basically, you just got to turn it down until you can see your screen. And really, all we really need is the top of the wave and that is called a pure sine wave real nice and even so uh, the settings I'm using on here are 5 volts for the VDIV um, SecDIV is 5 milliseconds and it's on the AC setting. If you want to get in a little closer, you can select Sectiv and um, maybe go down to like two. Two and five is about all you, you really want to look at in most cases. That's most common. That shows you multiple waves. That kind of just shows you one wave. And again, you can move it up and down essentially just select and then when you hit it again and unselect it's still in the vertical and it'll just move the whole whole thing up and down so we'll go back to five so that's the basics of a pure sine wave. Now I have a, a real cheap old uh, modified sine wave inverter here running off a battery and I'll show you that. And uh, that's pretty quick and easy. Basically I'll just leave it all set up and unplug so you can see it goes off. Plug into the modified sign. And now when the fan will run, hopefully it's not too loud. And we're back at the uh, beginning screen. One, two, three. Turn it up a hair. And just move it down to where you can see it. And that is what we call a modified sine wave or a square wave or cheap junk, basically.
That's why it's called a square wave. So, I think it's kind of cool. Now that I can actually uh, look and test them, um, you can see how clean or dirty they are, essentially. Uh, like I said, all you need is the meter. These are uh, all over Amazon for multiple prices. Uh, there's a few little different packages. Some of them come with uh, a 9 volt plug and you just plug that in, plug it to a battery, that way you don't need the, the power adapter. Um, they cost just a little bit more in that setup, but uh, then they just come with a probe that has two alligator clips, which technically would work if the meter worked. The problem is a meter can only take 50 volts in, so you need the separate 10X probe, and you can buy those separately for uh, 10 to thirteen dollars or something and that will allow you to connect it directly uh, like I mentioned I guess you're supposed to actually test or look at the wave under a load so you plug in a maybe a light bulb or a heat gun or something like that and uh, look at it so Hopefully that's useful to you. Uh, took me a little bit to figure it out and get the settings right and uh, be able to look at it, but that pretty much looks like uh, most of the pictures and, uh, and that that you see, but I haven't found any actual videos that show you exactly what you need and show you that it works and uh how cheap it is i think this this was a uh, 32 dollars or something probe was um 12 or 13. and then you really just need a uh you know if you want to do a little adapter kind of test setup like this it makes it cleaner safer i plan on doing it multiple times so i can just pull this out quick easy I don't have to worry about you know contacts touching um, so if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask and either I will try to answer if I know or uh, hopefully someone else will know but uh, try it look at your power play around you can test uh, generators uh, inverters your home power whatever you want. Uh, these can also be used for car audio, amp, tuning, setting, stuff like that. Uh, I think they can actually be used for tuning guitars. I mean, all kinds of things. I don't know how to do all that. I just got it and uh, figured out how to set it up. So I figured I'd show because that's really all I plan on using it for. But it is cool to be able to look at a sine wave. Um, Oh, they, they can also be used for uh, looking at the wave of the uh, a cam position sensor or I believe like a wheel speed sensor, um, crankshaft sensor, stuff like that, where you the only real way that you can see if they work or not is look at the output. Um, again, that's not going to be for most of you, but... Uh, I just found that out a while back in something I was working on, so um, would have been nice to have this at that time. I didn't, but I did find out that changing the sensor cured the problem. So um, anyway, good luck. Have fun. Hope it helped you. And uh, stick around and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. I just try to post this, you know, kind of useful stuff that I can't really find elsewhere. But uh sharing what I know. Catch you later.